Yeah, cool. Um, thank you so much to everyone for coming today, joining us uh, at this beta. And um, it's really great and welcome. We have a re really interesting topic on about Q World and a brilliant guest uh, as always, uh, Sahar Ben Rashi. And um, I just would like to remind you that this meeting has been recorded. So please um, mind uh, uh, your mic um, and um, saying this, uh, giving the stage to uh, Sahar. Hi, Shak Noza and everyone. Um, thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, so my name is Sahar Ben Rashid. I'm originally from Tunisia and I'm currently based in Karlsruhe as I'm doing my uh, research internship in quantum computing at the Institute for Data Processing and Electronics at uh, VKIT. So uh, I'm actually the co-founder and lead trainer of Q Tunisia, and we have joined Q World since September 2020. And I'm also here uh, with you today to represent Q World, and I'm joined by Zeki from Q Turkey and uh, Paul from uh, Q Poland. So for this discussion today, we will be introducing Q World as an international organization to you and why it would be very interesting to join this community of researchers and enthusiasts of quantum technologies. And uh, of course, we'll be answering all your questions uh, regarding our activities, our goals, and how you can join us at some point. So to start this presentation, I would like to present uh, Q World as a global network of individuals, groups, and communities collaborating on education and implementation of quantum technologies and research activities. So today, uh, Q World is actually an international organization that is based in so many countries around the world. And our mission is to educate everyone who is interested about quantum technologies and mainly quantum computation. And that is uh, through our educational content, but also with our various activities that are all related to the research and to the updates related to the development of uh, quantum computation from around the world. So basically our activities are based on learning workshops, but also on research activities that we come together as groups, for example, to work on uh, projects but also to organize events to promote the research results that are currently being um, given everywhere uh, from around the world, but also uh, to give meetups and Q talks where we host experts um, to uh, actually explain and introduce what are the possible activities and applications that we can develop through quantum computation. So um, QWorld was launched in 2019 with, uh, with a very creative uh, project that is called QDrive. And QDrive actually is a project uh, where a group went through different locations in Europe uh, to organize events related to quantum computation. That is basically giving workshops to everyone who is interested to learn more about the emerging technologies of quantum computation and quantum technologies in general. So after that, um, QWorld grew into a more structured organization and it has different departments and each department has its own mission. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I think I did not put the presentation on slideshow. Yes, now it's, now it's better. Um, so yes, now QWorld is a more structured organization uh, and we have different departments working on different pro projects and on different goals. For example, we have the Q Cousins, where we work on expanding the activity of Q World and the communities uh, from, uh, in around the world. So currently we are present in 18 countries and we want to expand more. Q Women is mainly a chapter that is, that is concerned with um, organizing activities to include women more into uh, the development and research of quantum technologies. We have Q Junior, uh, which goal is to present and introduce quantum computation and quantum technologies to high schoolers. We have Q Kitchen, which is the educational department that works on the development of educational content that is presented in the workshops of Q World. 
Q University, which is the ambitious um, project of Q World to uh, integrate quantum technologies education in university curriculum to every university that is actually interested in uh, updating the program and being um, inclusive of quantum education. And we have also the, uh, the Q Mentor Training, which is um, a regular project to uh, prepare the potential trainers for the, for the workshops of QWorld. So our main aim is to have an open access and public uh, global ecosystem for quantum technologies and quantum software uh, as short term by 2025. But of course, you want to uh, stay longer than that so that each interested hardworking individual group or community from every region in the world to get integrated into this international network and ecosystem. So our goal is always to look for enthusiastic communities, uh, scientific communities who are interested in uh, developing uh, the skills and the knowledge and the um, interest for their local communities, for example, in universities or in their local clubs, and uh, to, get to, to educate more people about the potential of quantum uh, technologies and to get started on learning about quantum computation skills. So we have QWorld with its uh, different departments to reach this goal. So to speak about the Q cousins, what we mean by Q cousins is actually the groups that are affiliated to Q World and which are located in different countries uh, from around the world. So um, as the project of Q Drive started in July 2019, today uh, by July 2021 we are 18 Q cousins. So. Basically, we are mainly based in Europe, uh, so the majority of communities start from Europe, but we are also including countries from Africa, from South America and from Asia, and we are also expanding to more countries, and by 2023 our goal is to reach more than 50 uh, countries and to uh, locate QWorld in uh, universities and regions from different uh, locations. So uh, as we are working on expansion, Q Cousins Group uh, mission is to basically promote Q World and its activities and uh, to collaborate with the local community that are already interested in quantum computation and to join forces um, from our side as we are an educational uh, organization and the enthusiasm that we find in local uh, groups that are interested to learn more about quantum technologies. So uh, this is actually uh, an old map of Q World. This is uh, actually representing 11 Q cousins. So 11 countries has already, uh, has already joined uh, Q World by the end of 2020. But within six months, we have been successful in adding more countries. And today we are 18 countries uh, that are affiliated to uh, Q World. So our uh, flagship program would be the workshops and the first program that was uh, launched by uh, or educational program that was launched by QWorld is the QBrands workshop. So what the QBrands workshop is actually an introduction to quantum computation and programming. So it's actually a collection of Jupyter notebooks using Python as the programming language and Qiskit library from IBM for writing quantum programs. So this is a very basic program that we uh, present to everyone who wants to learn quantum computing and programming, and we don't uh, necessarily require any background. So this is open to everyone who would like to learn about, this, about the technology. Uh, but of course, uh, a preference uh, would be given to anyone who is coming from a background of programming, mathematics or uh, physics, but we stay open to everyone who would like to, to learn more as we start from the very, very fundamental aspects uh, that must be uh, learned in order to advance more uh, on, uh, let's say, the more complicated uh, subjects that are related to quantum computation. So, of course, uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, or is that? Yes. So, of course, at the end of the um, of the workshop, we give certificates to everyone who has participated in this workshop and has accomplished the set of um, the tests, uh, or let's say the uh, requirements that should be met in order to get your certificate at the end. And that 
even though it depends from each workshop, uh, from each Q cousin, but uh, we insist that there is a minimum of knowledge required uh, or acquired, sorry, uh, during the workshop in order to uh, get the certificate. So we have been reaching uh, thousands of people around the world to teach about quantum computation and programming. And uh, we also collaborated with IBM Quantum in order to include Qiskit as the official uh, quantum programming language that we are using in our QBrowns material. And in addition to QBrowns, we have uh, recently launched QSilver, which is the intermediate level of quantum computation and programming, in which we uh, tackle more advanced uh, knowledge and uh, subjects of quantum computation. And we also uh, include CERC from Google as a quantum programming language. So QSilver was, uh, was launched in uh, May 2021, and we are also including it as an official educational program that is now uh, added to the Q workshops of Q World, and we intend on including more advanced uh, quantum uh, quantum programs as we want to diversify the subjects and the applications of quantum computation to include more educational material. So uh, with QWorld, you can also organize hackathons. So we can, for example, mention the hackathon that was uh, organized by Q Turkey and that has raised uh, so much interest from the community interested in quantum computation. And uh, while we believe that hackathons should be organized in communities with a certain number of, uh, of participants or of members, but of course we stay open to uh, assisting and supporting the communities in their uh, activities. And of course we collaborate with them to expand uh, their base of members. So hackathons are always very interesting uh, to every enthusiast of technologies, and we believe that such activities uh, always, always enhance the interest of the members uh, towards the subject that they are learning, and especially that they find a good opportunity to apply their knowledge into um, products or uh, projects that they see uh, where the potential of the technology is going. So QWomen uh, is mainly a program that is based on, let's say, the belief that women should be included more into the technology field. And we have seen uh, so many activities during this, uh, under this, under this uh, chapter. And we are, very, uh, we are very thrilled to see women uh, actually being interested in this technology and not finding a barrier uh, to enter this, the field and to find their place in the development of quantum technologies. And uh, of course, there are so many links actually included in the, in, at the beginning of each slide, which uh, actually linking to the website of QWorld that I will be showing uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but this is mainly to include more of the details of the activities that have been um, developed, but to also know more of the mission of each chapter. QJunior, as I have introduced before, is uh, basically the chapter that is aiming to introduce quantum technologies and, and quantum computation to high schoolers, as we firmly believe that quantum programming should be uh, one of the skill sets that should be developed from uh, these days to actually prepare our uh, future researchers and developers for the uh, upcoming quantum uh, industry uh, or the emerging quantum technologies uh, industry. And for this, we are preparing actually um, a devoted quantum, uh, quantum workshop for, for high schoolers that is uh, essentially adapted to their mathematics and their physics skills, but also to uh, raise their interest in this field and to get them prepared uh, for uh, a future career, let's say, or future interest for this field. So Q Kitchen, this is uh, mainly the chapter where the educators, researchers collaborate to create the best educational content that they can, that they can give to everyone who is joining the workshop Q World. So we make sure to develop high-end and uh, hands-on workshop materials that include um, labs, mainly exercises uh, to apply the theoretical knowledge that we uh, provide in our lectures. And Q Bronze uh, actually is a product of Q Kitchen and also Q Silver. And the educational department is always innovating on the um, field that we want to include for our educational materials. 
So Q University is basically the ambitious and the long-term uh, program of Q World, where we want to collaborate with educators in universities from around the world to include quantum computation and programming in their curriculum, mainly in engineering and physics, but we also stay open to uh, every university that would like to include the education of this field. And uh, this is actually what we are working towards, and we stay open to all collaborations coming from educators or universities uh, from everywhere in the world. So QMentor training, uh, so this is where we prepare everyone who is interested to become uh, a mentor or a lecturer for QWorld. Uh, so these are, let's say, the volunteers that we rely on to um, to teach the educational material that is developed uh, by QWorld. And these are actually regular events that we uh, organize within QWorld. So we have batches of uh, mentors and trainers coming up um, each few months from QWorld. And we are actually advancing and expanding the number of trainers that we have. So Q Challenge, uh, Q Challenge is a very successful event that was uh, hosted by uh, Q World in 2020. And the aim of Q Challenge is to um, organize local workshops for quantum programming and uh, for quantum computation and programming in each uh, local community of Q World. So each Q cousin has organized um, a Q workshop for their uh, local communities. And at the end of the challenge, we hosted a global uh, Q, uh, Q Brands workshop, which was very successful. We had more than 600 um, certificates given. Uh, that's actually part, apart from uh, the, uh, the certificates given within the local workshops. So uh, Q Challenge 2020 was hosted uh, in November 2020. And uh, we want to keep this ritual of organizing the Q Challenge each year, as we have seen uh, the enthusiasm and the uh, collaboration that are coming up from such an event. And we want to continue with uh, this expansion of activities and uh, to see actually um, people coming together in a very short amount of time to learn quantum uh, computation and programming. Uh, and together we have seen so many results, positive results coming up from uh, the Q Cousins. So Q Intern is actually the internship program that is launched by Q World. Also, it was uh, firstly uh, coming up in 2020, so it was last year. And the internship programs take about two months. That's actually um, what we uh, program at the first, but of course, some projects may take longer. And the version of, or the edition of, 20, of 2021 has already started. So we have seen so many projects coming up from last year's edition, and we are expecting uh, so many successful projects and products coming up from this year's edition. And our ambition is to keep on uh, organizing this, um, this event or this program each year as we see the impact of it on all of its participants. So uh, for, we have actually uh, hosted an awards um, session at the end of the, of the program for last year. So uh, to, you can actually take a look on the, on the successful pro projects from, from uh, last year, but just to name the best projects. So the first place go, uh, got to the uh, project of QFA implementation and quantum Byzantine agreement. You can actually see the details and the developed project uh, as we have uh, published them on the website. Uh, the second place, uh, so it went to a QML project and the third place uh, got to uh, the product of assessing the effectiveness of bronze and solid state Q circuits. So as you can see, we have a diverse, let's say, fields of application for quantum technologies. And this is coming up from the um, innovative uh, ideas that we get from our Q mentors, in, our mentors, sorry, for the Q intern program. And of course, uh, we award the best presentations as we insist on um, the good product, but also on the good presentations of your projects. So for the main links where you can reach out to us or you can find more information about QWorld, 
Of course, the website would be um, the key link to look at, but also you can reach out to, uh, to us with all your questions or inquiries by email. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and also our community Slack. Now we have migrated to, um, uh, to Discord. So you can find a very vibrant and a very uh, large community there where you can actually reach out to many researchers and developers who share your uh, interest in quantum technologies. And we also would like to um, accredit the thanks uh, of the support of Unidary Fund, which is the main sponsor of uh, QWorld. So just on an additional uh, thing that I would like to, uh, to show, which is our website. So I think our presentation is good for this now. Yes, I would like to share the screen to show our website. So this is also our website where you can learn about uh, Q World. Of course, you can uh, discover more information about our different departments. So we have Q Education, which is what I have been introducing as Q Kitchen. Uh, that is main department handling the uh, development of educational programs. We have also Q, Q research where researchers of quantum technologies may um, meet and uh, gather in groups to work on their research projects. And the Q cousins, which is uh, the department that is working on promoting Q world activities and expanding throughout the countries uh, from different regions of the world. So in numbers, today we are 18 actually, because we are uh, adding Egypt and Zimbabwe, who have recently accomplished their, entangling, their entangled workshops. Uh, of course, we have had activities in uh, many other countries, and we have hosted 72 uh, uh, events up until now from workshops and also from meetups and Q-talks. And up until now, we have more than 2,000 certificates handed out. So uh, yes, you can see the logos of our uh, Q cousins. But also the interesting thing is that you can find all the events that are currently happening in Q world. So for example, next week, the Quantum Summer School 2021 is starting on Monday, uh, July 26, where we will be presenting the introduction uh, the introduction workshop of uh, QBronx, so an introduction to quantum uh, programming uh, and quantum computing and programming with Qiskit. And on the second week, we'll be having the more advanced course, which is uh, QSilver. So uh, yes, we have held already the global quantum programming workshop of QSilver upon its release in May 2020, 2021. QScience Days was back in June where we hosted more than 30 talks from uh, top researchers in the field of quantum technologies to speak about their results and their research interests. And of course, to uh, present uh, the main, let's say, uh, applications and the, uh, to discuss the potential of quantum technologies. Q-Bronze, of course, you can go back to all the history of the organized Q-Bronze, same thing for Q-Silver, or if you'd like to attend our webinars and talks that we host regularly, and all of the Q-Talks and webinars will be found on our YouTube channel if you would like to go back and watch them. So for the Q-Cousins, of course, you can reach out to all the teams that you can find from around the world and Q-Education, this would be an interesting thing to see or to have a look at the educational material that we have and it's actually available open source so you can download it and you can work on it even if you are not part of the workshop, but we would like to encourage you to attend as the lectures and labs have their own impact on your knowledge journey or the educational journey. Uh, also, if you would like to uh, join a research project or even to launch your own re uh, research project and you would like to find collaborators from the uh, community of QWorld, then you are most welcome uh, to propose all your ideas. Study groups where we actually have uh, the proposal of books uh, that um, actually uh, have topics related to quantum technologies and we host regular meetings to, to discuss the advancement of our readings. Uh, and if you would like to uh, volunteer as a mentor, 
uh, in order to lead discussions about quantum computation and quantum technologies or if you'd like uh, to propose a book and then you will be hosting the meetings for discussions later on then of course all your activities are welcome and of course, this would be the about us section where you can learn more about who we are, uh, who are actually the um, the team that is behind uh, QWorld. So uh, we have Abu Zer, who is the chairperson of QWorld, and uh, the team, the, let's say the board team of QWorld, is uh, diverse and coming from uh, many countries and collaborating on the expansion of QWorld, but also to, en to enhance and to support its activities and make sure that we are uh, reaching uh, so many people from around, from different regions, but to also uh, make sure to always give the best quality of education and workshops that we can make. And this would be the contacts if you would like to have uh, any conversation from leaders of, of these departments, or if you have any questions that we can answer at any time. And uh, just on a uh, side note that we are actually an established uh, association. So we have been established uh, as a nonprofit association in Estonia by uh, November, 2020. Okay, so I think this would be it for the presentation of QWorld and uh, I would like to share with you the website if you would like to take a look on it or if you have any questions that you would like to ask us. Of course, we are here. Um, so uh, Zeki, Paul and myself to answer all your questions. Where is the chat? Yes. Yes, this is so the website if you'd like to know more uh, or maybe if I skipped any information that I did not mention or if you'd like to ask more about it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sahar, Sahar for this compelling presentation. It's uh, so great and um, your work, your input to quantum uh, ecosystems is absolutely great. Thank you so much. Um, so maybe someone has uh, questions, um, would like to uh, ask something so please um, <laughs> let us uh, just chat uh. maybe maybe I will add that uh, I've shared a link to our discord uh, on our chat so if you are interested then we invite you to join of course so you can already interact with uh, uh, people, researchers, quantum computing enthusiasts from many countries from all over the world, no, not only from uh, our Q-cousin countries, uh, but at the, same, at the same time, we are, of course, uh, um, discussing um, with Shechnoza on how to uh, establish uh, Q, Q Germany, um, the next, next Q-cousin can be here in Germany. So if any one of you is interested, then of course, uh, um, let us know or just contact Shiknoza later. And uh, yeah, we can, we can discuss it. We are open for collaboration and for discussions on this topic. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Pavel, thank you so much for uh, this uh, input. Yes, and um, by the way, I will um, share all the links and all the uh, information of QWorld with you once again uh, via email. So um, it's okay if you don't uh, uh, copy it, everything. So here's a question. How does one get assigned a mentor? Oh, sorry, signed as a mentor or signed a mentor? Signed mentor, I think. Um, so I, I guess that maybe this is a question about the Q intern project, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a question from Bio Chas, so maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe hi. Clarify. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. to clarify. so if I wanted a mentor, if I have questions to ask, um, is there a one on one mentorship? So okay. it, it, it depends, maybe I will try to answer. So there is this one by one uh, inter, uh, mentorship uh, during this uh, Q intern project that uh, uh, Sahar has introduced as well. So this, this uh, uh, Q intern project is already ongoing this year. So uh, 
it's not possible to, to join, but during this QIntern project, it's possible to just uh, uh, do a research and being mentored by a senior researcher from one of the participating countries. But uh, there is also mentorship during the workshops that we organize. So for example, if we decide and if we organize the Q Germany and uh, Q Kazin, then there will be something like entangling workshop. So it will be this introductory workshop on quantum computing and programming. And usually since currently during the pandemic crisis, uh, our workshops are remote only, are online. Uh, then uh, there might be, let's say about 100 participants and there will be about uh, 10 mentors. So of course, if there are some questions during the workshop, then uh, the participants are welcome to uh, ask questions also individually to mentors. But, but we, rather, uh, we rather encourage participants to just ask their questions uh, on our uh, Discord or Slack server, depending on how we organize the communication and uh, during a workshop. So there are mentorships during this Q intern program and during our workshops. Um, yeah, and I think that that's it. So I hope that it, it answers this question. But uh, be, beside these special events, there is no uh, one by one mentorship, let's say, but of course, uh, at, not, at least there's no mentorship formally organized by, by QWORD. But of course, if you have any questions, you are welcome to post your questions on uh, our Discord. So as we said, we already have a few hundred people from many countries and they're on different levels. There are people who are beginners, but there are people who are already uh, professionals or very experienced researchers, professors from different universities from all over the world. And so we can always uh, try to reach out uh, uh, the mentor or the person that you would like to contact directly as well. But it's, it's not formally, it's not formally organized by a word. So we just give you a platform to communicate and ask your questions so that other people can uh, answer. Yeah, thank you for the question. Um, I would be interested, uh, is there some newsletter that I can uh, subscribe for from uh, QWorld to just be up to date about events and uh, opportunities to get in touch? Uh, yes, we have a newsletter. Uh, it was started recently, so let me just... Uh, Try to find information about the newsletter on our website. I'm not sure if it's already on our website. If not, then maybe we'll, we'll just uh, send you the information later. Kansin's newsletter. Yes, we have uh, a newsletter. So it's called uh, Q newsletter, of course. Uh, let me just share a link. Yes, I've just shared share the link. So you can subscribe, of course. Uh, by providing your first name and email address. And then, um, yeah, you'll be able to just receive the latest news about our activities, events, or projects. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Are there more questions? Okay, it's not, seems to be a case, but um, if uh, you have questions afterwards, it's also okay. Just please uh, contact us over Meetup or directly uh, to Zahar. Um, yes, um, then uh, maybe let's conclude our session today. Thank you so much. Sahar, thank you so much, Pavel and Seki, for this great opportunity um, to and, and for this you. platform. Thank you for inviting us. And may, maybe I can add something uh, later while we are sending people uh, other links. We can send uh, the recording or the, a link to the recording as well, because I noticed that some of the participants joined later. Uh, so that way, 
they will be able to watch the uh, beginning as well or the introduction. Great, perfect. It's really good. Thank you so much, Chaknoza. I hope that was um, a good presentation of QWorld and we hope you have raised your interest to launch your uh, local community and we hope to see you Germany uh, forming very soon. And with that, we will have, uh, let's say, a platform to collaborate more. And thank you so much for inviting us. That's what's important. Thank you. It was really great. Thank you so much for, for your time and for the presentation. And um, uh, let's start uh, Q Germany uh, as next step. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, have thank a you. nice bye -bye. evening. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.